Well, hello there. This is Virtual a Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. Now today, I'm gonna to show a game that I originally played on the Chess Nut Evo. Now, if you follow my channel, you might remember that when I was demonstrating using the Evo to play online platforms, that I had mentioned that I had previously won a game using the Evo on chess.com. But to demonstrate that it is definitely possible, this last game I played here was against a real human uh, and using the ball. And here you can see it's loading up basically the full chess.com website. Well, this is that game. It, this is such a beautiful game of the Vienna where I won by checkmate, I think in 12 moves. I really wanted to demonstrate it. Let's go take a look. So I've got a white piece of course, and with the Vienna, e4, e5, knight c3. My opponent responds with the max lang defense, knight c6. Very, very principled against that, of course, bishop out to c4, and my opponent plays the two knight uh, variation. And effectively, if I develop the other knight, we basically enter a four knights Italian. So this second knight in the max lang is probably one of the most solid responses that black can play. And here, in fact, it's plus 0.1, almost back to equality. Now, what I usually do is uh, I don't want to enter into Italian-like lines, so I play d3, potentially uh, f4 and knight behind the pawn. My opponent decides to, um, to aim for a fianchetto. Now, the very interesting thing about this position is that a fianchetto on the queen side for black simply doesn't work. Um, you can see Stockfish calls this an inaccuracy, uh, and in fact, it's plus 0 0.8. Uh, you know, these are slightly unexpected moves if you're not familiar with the Vienna, you know, moving knight a5 with an immediate attack on the bishop. So here I continue my typical Vienna plan f4. That was expected that they were going to fear and get her their bishop. And again, another inaccuracy, and now it's plus 1.4. The fundamental logic here on why it's not so good is that this light square diagonal, this long, long diagonal, is pretty much already blocked by my pawns. Uh, and that means that that's not really that good a position for that bishop. I'm also going to aim to make a very rapid attack on black's kingside. Again, one of the strategic uh, patterns in the Vienna. And this sort of uh, you know, development onto the queen side is a bit slow and it actually ends up giving me some opportunities. So knight behind the pawn as, as planned. Captures, that's actually the best move for black, but I get to take back with the bishop. So I'm really well developed now and here my opponent decides to play knight h5 uh, seemingly you know, with an attack on my bishop, which isn't defended. But that is a mistake. Uh, in fact, it's plus 4.8. Now, the really curious thing here is that Stockfish thinks, you know, a symmetrical move on the opposite side of the board, attacking the bishop on the other side, is actually better. It's just one of these weird things. Now, here, the best move for me is to actually advance the knight forward, you know, to defend the bishop with a counterattack on the black's position. However, one of the things in the Vienna that I really like doing is looking for opportunities to sacrifice my bishop by capturing f7 with check. That's often really, really disruptive. Now, in this case, it wasn't my most optimal move, but I've still got a nice uh, lead after this move. And as you will see, black's position completely collapses. So bishop <laughs> captures f7 with check. I thought that was possibly a brilliant move. It wasn't the case in this game. Let's see what happens. King takes back. Of course, knight jumps forward with check with a discovered attack on the knight. So that's what I saw. The fascinating thing here now is black's best move is actually to move the king out of the way, tuck it away, and let me capture 
the night with an apparent almost mate looking you know attack next it's practically an inhuman move so in this game black thought look knights under attack let's bring the king forward and as you can see that's an inaccuracy it's about plus 3.7 plus 4 Let's see what that was about. So, because that looks like a terrible move, right? Um, queen captures the knight. And here, in fact, what uh, black's next best move is, is queen to this position, basically demanding a trade of queens, which allows black to you know, win back some tempo. Uh, and queen now needs to withdraw from the attack. So this is actually the best line for black, but it's still about plus four. So you know, not that good really. Uh, now in this game, they stepped forward and black is real in some problems now. Queen to g4, meaning this next move will be a discovered check. Now black decides to cash in, take out the bishop. They wanted to take that anyway. Maybe they thought that that knight was pretty trapped otherwise anyway. So they take, <laughs> but that is a blunder. Why is it a blunder? Well, the queen now infiltrates. Black really need to bring the queen to f6. And we will see in the next couple of moves, they needed to defend the f file. Queen to f5, check. King, not sure where to go. They played king to h, uh, h6. Uh, if they play king to h5, they get to last a little bit longer, but they're still a forced mate. And have a look at this. Queen, rook, king, look at that f7 square, knight to f7, family for checkmate, triple kill, good game, GG. The big takeaway from this game is that tactically attacking down the f file, potentially with a bishop sacrifice on f7 with check, can be very, very powerful especially if black allows it by having somewhat slow development. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.